Good morning, do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, excellent, thank you. Um, I'm Dr. Christina Menchaka, PGY3 Internal Medicine uh, from UM. Uh, today, I uh, will talk about my research, uh, foster its outcomes of patients with uh, mitral regurgitation, concomitant arctic and tricuspid valve disease after a transcatheter edge to edge mitral valve repair. Um, so, patients uh, who have severe mitral valve regurgitation or M uh, MR. Uh, or end coincidental arctic or tricuspid valve disease usually represent a management challenge. Traditionally, if an interdisciplinary heart team decides to perform open heart surgery to replace the mitral valve, arctic stenosis or regurgitation are usually corrected simultaneously. Um, so also patients who are at high surgical or prohibitive risk are usually referred to a less invasive uh, procedure. Uh, such as transcatheter edge to edge mitral valve repair um, for severe mitral valve regurgitation. And here we actually decided to observe the outcomes of the patients who underwent, uh, underwent steer for severe mitral valve regurgitation associated with arctic or tricuspid valve disease. Um, in this study, we had um, 170 patients who underwent this uh, minimally invasive procedure uh, tier. Um, and we compared patients who only uh, had severe um, mitral regurgitation. To, uh, we compared to the patients who had not only severe mitral regurgitation, but they also had um, associated arctic stenosis or regurgitation or tricuspid insufficiency. So there, in terms of their basic char characteristics, there were really no significant uh, differences. Um, and then in the end, we assess the outcomes of these two, uh, two groups of patients and we measure like total in hospital stay, mortality, um, and also degree of uh, MR reduction. And our um, results were next. So basically we, we found that there was no any difference in reducing the severity of MR um, or total in hospital stay or survival also was no different between um, these two groups of patients. That's one group where we had patients with only MR and other was a group with patients who had MR or any other valve insufficiency. Um, and we definitely noted that in both groups, there was actually a reduction in the severity of MR, also average total in hospital stay. Uh, I mean, there were no any significant differences and also survival was 100% in both groups. Um, and our conclusion was that there was no difference in feasibility and short-term outcomes of care in patients only with MR compared to patients with MR and associated aortic or tricuspid valve disease. Um, and we believe that in this era, minimally invasive procedures such as STIR, uh, when performing patients with concomitant and very often complicated valve pathology, we need a large scale trials to follow up on these patients' short and long term outcomes. Thank you. Are there any questions from the audience? Uh, th thank you for your great talk. I, I did have a question. Are there any, have there been any clinical trials done um, on the uh, outcomes of TIR? Uh, so actually, I mean, there are a lot of trials uh, right now. Um, and actually what's now the most, I mean, actual is that uh, they're trying the, basically, I mean, usually we try to do TIR in patients who are really high risk for surgery, but nowadays we want to actually do uh, this TIR even in patients who are not high risk for surgery, like in elderly um, and also patients who uh, have like other maybe uh, valve diseases. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of studies ongoing right now because it before it was just for the patients who were high risk for the actual surgery. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious if this could be implemented for patients even without high risk. I mean, obviously, it's a less, uh, it's a less invasive procedure. You know, can those patients also um, get here? Yes, yes, that's that's. I think that's what's uh, uh, now what's actually what we're. I mean, what uh, cardiologists are trying to do to use it in the patients who are not only high risk for a surgery. All right, wonderful. Any Thank other, you. other final, any other final questions for Dr. Christina? All right, let's go back to Dr. <music>